So, first of many app reviews. Been asked for a few of these. We'll start with one of the popular ones, Golf Shop Plus. A uh, good little GPS scorecard and some stats on here as well. It is probably one of the best looking ones. That's just the loading page. Look at that already. Very, very smart. Uh, let's get into it. Something I've used in the past a lot. Not so much now, but I'll tell you why it's soon. But again, home screen comes up. Really simple to use this. There's all your stuff you need. Uh, we'll go through a couple of those later on. But for now, let's go and start the round. So you hit start. Up comes your nearby courses. You can look for your recent courses as well, your favourites. Save those. Or just browse a course you might want to check out for a future match. Uh, but here's the local ones. We're going to click on white, green and play. Tee boxes up they come. They're all there. Let's go for the whites. Then up pops your name. Now, assuming you put your profile in with your handicap and your clubs in the bag, all those sort of things, your name will pop up. Add your mates if they're playing as well underneath. Pick your scoring format, whatever you're going for. We'll go for Stableford. Start the round. Up comes the course. Walks the first hole. First hole pops up. Here we go. Now, and the signal will kick in at some point. Now, this is my favourite feature. Down the right-hand side here, this, when I used it, was certainly what I'd use most, especially when it's a new golf course. So, you've got your map there, right-hand side. You can drag this little uh, icon here to wherever you want on the screen. And really important for me, when I used it, finding where the danger was. Zoom in. There's a trap. 2.30, and then you're in it. So, great if you don't know the course in particular of looking around, seeing where the danger is, and also where the green is and how far to the green. Now, it won't show you where the flag is. You have to work that for yourself. But for most of you looking at this review, front of the green, back of the green is massive. That's all you're probably going to need. You can see roughly where the flag is after that. But if you hit the middle of the green on every single uh, approach shot, you'd probably take it. So knowing where the front and back of the green is probably enough. If you've got a laser range finder, which I use, great. But you probably, including me, I don't need to know where the flag is to point one of a yard. Uh, I'm generally trying to get somewhere on the green, to be honest. Um, but very useful, like I say, for hazards and that sort of thing, which I will use that for most of all. Numbers down the left-hand side, good little feature. This is if you click track down here, it will tell you how far you've hit that shot so good and useful for knowing how far your clubs go on the golf course because on the range you'll think you hit it a certain distance in reality when you're hitting different types of shots from different lies your average might be a little bit different so not a bad feature that as well and again accurate ish uh, so you finish the hole type in your score let's have a birdie here why not one putt pick the club you hit it keeps that for data and then left or right on the fairway short or long that sort of thing so uh, that's the history of that hole that I've played. So I'm doing all right there. Don't hit the fairway much, but hit the green all the time, averaging under par, uh, which is quite nice. OK, let's go to the second hole again on the right hand side. My most used feature up it pops. I know there is a ditch going across this hole. And when it pops up, we'll find out how far away it is. There it is. So again, zoom in. Find out where the trouble is. There it is. And yeah, 270, and you're going to get pretty close to that ditch at the nearest point. So debatable whether you want to hit driver down there or not, that sort of thing. That might change your mind having seen the view. Of Again, my favourite feature of that, knowing where the trouble is, is really, really good to have. So we we'll move on. We've finished the round, filling my scores here. Uh, let's have a par there. And miss fairway. Again, it will keep that for some data at the end. And yeah, slightly tougher hole that average in just over par on that hole. So we're in the round and we'll look at some other stuff here. So let's look at the stats now. I'm into my stats as you might know. Here's what you get and this is every round I've played uh, as a while back uh, but here we go. So let's start with fairways. Now you might see there or oh, missing more to the right you might think I slice it. Not really the case. My bad shots are hook so me missing right doesn't mean it's a slice. It could mean I know my bad shots are hook and I aim to the right more often. Possibly. It might be the golf courses I play on average, the troubles down the left-hand side, so I'm aiming to the right. Well, that's useful so many fairways you hit. The left and right miss, again, isn't really a big deal. It doesn't show you much about your swing, although you might think it does. It, it probably won't. And for me, how far you hit the ball down there in play is more important. So penalty shots off the tee shot will be more important to me. Um, greens and regulation, that's the big one in terms of 
improving. The more greens you hit, the lower your score is. Greens and red, biggest colorate, coloration, coloration between um, lowering your scores. I'll get that word out next time. Um, sand save scrambling, not bad as well. Don't mind that. Putting again, fairly useless that, that for me. Um, number of putts, not really a thing. It's not strokes gained, much more useful. Uh, number of putts depends on how close you chip it in the first place. Uh, if you're missing every green but chipping it to one inch, your putting should be one per hole. Um, doesn't mean you're a good putter. It means maybe you're chipping it close or you're missing a lot of greens. Um, the pars, it's quite pretty there. The scoring's quite pretty. Um, the club things there gives you some distances as well. Um, again, useful-ish. But the stats there, they look great. It's not overly useful if you really want to collect data and see how you're doing. Uh, particularly putting, be careful with that. Um, like I say, greens and regulation though is quite good, and the recovery thing is not bad either. Um, let's click on a certain round and you see what you get. So we picked my last round on here, 2016, so best part of three and a half years ago now, four years ago almost. Um, there's a score, local down at Epsom, um, shows my score, like three over par, must have been a really tough windy day for three over par for me. Um, fairways, greens and reg, that sort of thing. Click on scorecard again. Um, you can make notes down there, quite cool. Take photos of your mates, pretty good. Um, let's click on my scorecard for the round. Let's have a look how bad it was. Okay, again, very, very pretty. See so your red numbers in there, you know, what holes you might struggle with, how you did. Um, any penalty strokes, which I didn't have, uh, still managed to shoot three over. But yeah, one of the best looking apps out there for scoring and for the GPS. And all your rounds there previously so there's a few more bits on there some news you can see some videos of swings as well um, but for me the best bit about this is looking at that overview knowing where the danger is and seeing you know how far you might need to hit the ball to avoid certain trouble or where the green is but just stick with front and back of the green that's probably enough for now so any questions on that feel free to get in touch like i say one of the prettier looking ones the gps is useful and it's accurate enough it will do stats a couple of key ones there but otherwise, it's just some uh, pretty numbers. So I hope that helps. Any questions, leave some comments or go and play around with it yourself. There's a free version there too. Um, and it shows you a few other bits as well with awards and lots of little features on there as well. But go and check it out yourself. And uh, like I say, any questions, let us know.